Law 11. Avoid gorillas and godzillas. Back up from them like the OJs and spin away like the bar case. Pimpin' Ken. The life. There was this one guy, G Money. I knocked his hole and called him to serve him the news that would give him the blues. Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. Fuck that, he said. Sounding very angry. Man, these are the rules I said to him, expecting he would honor the game. Dude, I don't follow no rules, he said. I'm my own man. I'm pimping. This is what we call Magilla Gorillas and Godzilla. A real pimp is a gentleman, but these are pimps in gorilla suits. They hang around pimps. They have holes on the track working for them. They may even look like pimps, but they are straight simp. The Magilla Gorilla wants to fight you or kill you if you knock him for his hole. If a hole doesn't bring him his dough, he will beat her without mercy. When he knocks you for your hole, he doesn't serve and he will knock a hole who isn't even trying to choose him. He may just snatch that hole up from the track and kidnap her because he wants her. A Magilla Gorilla brings the police to the track with his sucker ass behavior. In the pimp game, this mother effer has no place and he's got to go. The Magilla Gorilla plays checkers, but a real pimp plays chess. He uses patience and intelligence to set up the gorilla to take a fall. I couldn't force G-Money to follow the rules, but I sure as hell wasn't going to let him gorilla me either. After you knock a dude's hole, you're supposed to give a pimp action at a hole to give him a chance to win her back. This is to ensure that she's not making a mad move and choosing you just to get back at her pimp for some grud. But I decided not to give action to a gorilla because he wouldn't let it go. It was best to just move that hoe to another city. He might grab her off the street and beat her to death. One by one, me and my fellow pimps took away all of G-Money's hoes and put him out of business. There is. Gorillas and Godzillas are bad for the game. They are bad business, and as such, they have to go. This is one instant where the real pimps may work together to take care of the situation. In pimping, to get rid of a gorilla, you have to take away his hoes and move them around so he doesn't have access to them. Without a hoe, a pimp ain't really pimping. And without a hoe, a gorilla is just a mean, ugly motherfucker. In life, there are always people who can't help but mess things up for everybody. They are bullies with no finesse, who don't follow any rules. They have no respect for authority or anyone else. They have no principles outside of doing what they feel like at all times. When you see these people coming, you either have to do it like E-40 says and be a professional sucker ducker, or you have to get rid of them. A big enough gorilla may think that nobody can take him out, that he can get away with anything. But even the biggest gorillas can be taken down. Look what they did to mother effing King Kong.